your deaf ears will hear. Your dumb tongues will speak out. Paralysis will vanish away. And wholeness, perfect soundness, will come in your life right now in Jesus' name. All your chains will be broken. Madness will vanish away. Insanity will vanish away. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. Raise up your hand. You need a miracle. You need a healing. You need a deliverance. And lay the other hand where you have the challenge. And your miracle is right now. Ready? Heaven is ready for you. Are you ready for the miracle? Father, in Jesus' name. Father, you're still the same. Lord Jesus, you're still the same healer. Holy Ghost, you're still the same reviving, recreating every part of the body. Therefore, Lord, we pray that at this very time now, manifest your healing power in Jesus' name. Manifest your delivering power in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, as you went about doing good and healing everyone that was oppressed of the devil, touch everyone. Heal everyone. Destroy the works of the devil everywhere now in Jesus' name. Those blind eyes, the Lord has set you free. Open those eyes and begin to see in Jesus' name. Deaf ears be open and begin to hear in Jesus' name. Dumb tongues, you are loose, you will speak clear. In Jesus' name, cancer, be healed right there now in Jesus' name. And that swelling in any part of the body, come out in Jesus' name. Also, you are healed in Jesus' name. That pile is healed in Jesus' name. The issue of blood dry up now in Jesus' name. And I pray that that spirit that makes you to feel insane, evil spirit, demonic spirit, tormenting spirit, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that a near will vanish away now. And I pray that the paralysis and the stroke and the withering of the hand, of the legs, come out in Jesus' name. I pray for that short leg to grow out. That short hand to grow out. And everything that torments your body, everything cause sickness in your body right now. Right now. At this very time, be healed in Jesus' name. You are loosed, and the Lord now says you can go out free. You are loosed. You are delivered. You are set free. You are healed. Now you can stand free. You can sit free. You can walk free. You can go out free. That miracle has happened to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. The Lord has done it. The Lord has done it. You'll do what you couldn't do before. You are no more paralyzed. You are no more blind. You are no more deaf. You are no more dumb. And your hand is no more withered. Now the Lord has set you free. Amen. Amen.
It has happened to you. Just quiet. Check yourself. The miracle is there. The miracle is there. The Lord has done it. It's already there with you. Check yourself. And then you'll shout, praise the Lord. It has happened to you. The last amen is always a signature of approval. The last amen is always heaven's approval of taking away the sickness, the disease. The Lord has done it for you. Check yourself. Your miracle is there with you. The man of God has declared it. Heaven has answered. You have it with you. You have it with you. Your miracle is there. Just a shout of hallelujah will rejoice with you and move out. Check yourself there to my left hand side, right here at the middle, to my right hand side. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. I'm waiting for you. Check yourself and you move out. Counselors, move within the crowd. Those people who have been sitting down, just help tell them to stand up. The prayer has been prayed. The miracle is there. The Lord has done it. The Lord has done it. Orchestra, just go ahead. While we're waiting for them, go ahead. Just come out. Just come out. To my left hand side here. Just come out. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's there. It's there. All over. All over the ground. It's there. The Lord has done it. Just come out. Just, just come out. Move to the front here. Come. Come. Check yourself. It's there. Is there? That's heaven's approval. Keep coming out. Keep coming out. The Lord has touched you. It's a definite touch. It has happened. Just come, come, come. To my left hand side here, which is your own right hand. Just move out. And you'll be given opportunity tonight to share your testimony. It has happened to you. The Lord has done it. The Lord has done it. Orchestra, go ahead.
coming more, more. Just move out from the far back. As you see your miracle there, just come forward here. Just come. The Lord has touched you tonight. The Lord has done you well. The miracle is there. The last amen. Amen means it is done. So let it be. So let it be. Your healing. Your deliverance. The wonders of the Lord. It has happened. It has happened. Orchestra go on. I believe as it's happening here, so also it's happening online. Come out. God has blessed you there. The miracle is there. Very soon we'll start listening to the testimonies. And we're going to start with online. Okay. We're going to listen to testimony now from online. Let's listen and hear of the great things the Lord has done. God is really at work. As the man of God declared, people are loosed online and miracles are happening. Let's begin from Bornu State, Nigeria, northeastern Nigeria. It says, this is from Dauda Nasara. He wrote, thank you, Jesus, for healing me from liver problems. My healing is forever. Thank you, God in heaven. He wrote, God bless our daddy in the Lord, Pastor W.F. Kumui. Now we go to Lagos, Nigeria. Charles Uzama from Alpha, Lagos, Nigeria. I have been healed from neck pain for some years now, but today, after the prayer of the Pastor W.F. Kumui, I received my healing. Glory be to God. Now we move to Abuja, Nigeria. Gaba Joy wrote, I want to return all glory to God for his healing upon my life. Also of eight years gone during the prayer of God's servant. I literally feel no pain. Praise the Lord. Now from Wari, Nigeria, Gibbs Paul wrote, I was healed from stomach ulcer. Glory be to God. And uh, we move next to Bodo City in Nigeria, where Joshua Peter wrote, I thank God for how God has helped my family from bad influence, even saving my dad from losing his life. Glory be to God. From Potakot, Nigeria, we have Paul Otto who is giving glory to God for an eastern healing on his scrotum. Praise the Lord, he is healed. Nantanya Faith from River State, Nigeria. I just received my total healing and deliverance from satanic attack. Praise the Lord. Potakot, Nigeria. Paul Antion wrote, I want to thank God for instant healing on my scrotum. I went for his calm and was diagnosed that I had an hydrocell, but immediately after the prayers, the swollen disappeared. Glory be to God. And this one from Africa, Cameroon precisely. Marie Wachuku from Muyuka wrote, I was suffering from sickness called red foot, in which it made my leg swollen for about six months, the pain was so severe. But when the man of God prayed, the pain got loosed and my yuka is now free. Glory be to God. And we have this from Lafia, Nigeria. Sivanos wrote here that he had a stone of a swelling for over seven years. But after the prayers of the man of God, it melted. Praise the Lord. From Lagos, Nigeria, wrote, Jesus, the Savior of the world, has done it for me. I have been saved by the blood of the Lamb. All praise be to God. 
precious Emmanuel from Lagos, Nigeria. Glory to God. I thank God for healing me of a terrible cough and breathing problems. Thank you, Jesus. I believe I'm healed, and my healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Precious one prayer from Lucica. Thank you, Jesus. I receive my healing from sight problem and weakness of the body. Praise the Lord. And before we return to the moderating overseer for testimonies, we'll take you to Kanu State, Nigeria. The woman you see wrote that the husband ran away with the children to an unknown destination. According to the writing, to make matters worse, she had never known the relations of the man before and after the marriage and where the man came from. So when the man ran away with the children, she was stranded and devastated. The first daughter, the first son, and the last boy. During the GCK, as our father in the Lord prayed, he made pronouncement that whatever you have lost will be recovered. And she quickly grabbed it by the grace of God. And now you will hear the testimony from Kano. Good morning, sister. Florence Augustine. I'm here to testify the goodness of the Lord. What God done for me. Praise the Lord. I had lost contact with my children after 22 years ago. But during the GCK uh, crusade, I thank God when the man of God was praying that believe that whatever you lost this year you are getting it back and I receive it I said amen when after the prayer I received the prayer and I, I climbed it I said God it's my time now and truly came to pass after the crusade after the crusade in the this thing when we are in the prayer we are in the Bible study and now see my phone ring. That is about four minutes call. I didn't pick the call. I didn't pick the call. Then after closing time, I now picked the phone and called the number. I saw that uh, who is talking. And I see that it's my daughter. I hear a voice, a girl voice. And I asked her, who are you? She said that she's Janet. Janet from where? She said that she's from Ogoja. Ogoja, she said yes. I said, who do you want to speak with? She said that it's her father give her the phone to, to call this, the number to call this number. And she called it, but she don't know who she's talking with. And I asked that who is her father? She said that it's John Abuba. And I say, John Abuba, I say, yes, you are in the right place to call. I'm your mother. And then the girl screamed. She started, and then I asked her that where is her raised brother? She said that they are, they are, they are not living in the same place, but she has a case and she now sent me their uh, phone number. Since they have started contact with them, three of them, I can call them, they call me. And after that, when I hear that my pastor, I now call, call my pastor, I told my pastor that this what is. And then from there, the church now run out for me to go there and see them. And truly, I went and see them in which today, I'm now contact with my children, the three of them, they are alive and come with, I am now talking with them which I thank God for what God done for me. Thank God for everything that since then I'm in contact with my children today. For God be the glory. God unifying families. Glory be to God as we return to the moderating overseer. Why don't you put your hands together? That's a miracle. Put your hands together. Lose him. Lose him. You can see things happening in yourself. You are hearing, you are seeing. That's an evidence that God is still at war. You see those crutches up there a few minutes ago? Can you raise those crutches up? Let's see them. That's what the Lord did. Right on this ground, tonight. They are interviewing the person there. The Lord is at war. Jam your hands together.
Before we start taking testimonies right here at the Alpha location, I want to inform everyone that tomorrow morning we'll be having the ministers, professionals, and church workers conference. Ministers, professionals, and church workers conference at the far back to the right hand side. That's where the conference is taking place tomorrow morning. We'll be starting at 7 in the morning. 7 tomorrow morning. 7 tomorrow morning. The ministers, professional church workers conference will be taking place at the far back. And so it's going to take place in all other locations all over the country and outside the country. Be there, professionals, in whatever field, the conference is for you. Church workers, the conference is for you. All ministers, church founders, everyone, the conference is for you. Please be there. Don't forget, 7 a.m. tomorrow, the conference will start. Orchestra, can we hear you? Before we start taking testimony, are we ready? <laughs> the first person now. Are we ready? It's okay, orchestra, go on. Can we have the first person now? Alpha location. Can we have the first person? It's okay, orchestra, go on. <laughs> Go back to online for more testimony. Rain of miracles is pouring everywhere from Nigeria to Ghana to UK to the United Kingdom to the US. It is miracles everywhere. Let's begin now on this second set from Ghana, Cape Coast precisely, where Justice Aboadwe wrote, My whole body was swollen. In fact, it was swollen up, he wrote. But after the declaration from our pastor, 
I just find I can't feel anything anymore. I am healed. Thank you, Jesus. Peter from Nigeria wrote, This evening at the GCK, I am healed of broken skull. May the Lord be highly exalted. Praise the Lord. Peter Jayola from Brockton, United States of America wrote, High blood pressure is loosed. I am free, healed from high BP. Glory be to God. Paulinos Grateful from Enugu, Nigeria wrote, I thank God for healing me from joint disorder. Praise the Lord. Stephen from Birmingham, United Kingdom, says he was healed of swelling, aches, and pains in the gum, which all vanished after the final amen to the final prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord. From the DLCM YouTube page, Ifoma wrote, Praise God, I was healed from earache for five days. After the prayer of the man of God, praise the Lord. And we have Stephen from United Kingdom who said swelling, aches and pain in my gum. Vanish after the final amen. Glory be to God. And more testimonies as we have this one from Bella and Naba. He wrote, after the prayers, I felt good. The pain in my heart is totally removed. Glory be to God. Another one from YouTube. Francisca from Nigeria wrote, God has just delivered me and my family from accidents while connected to the GCK at home. Praise the Lord. Cataract has been defeated and that's on YouTube. Hilda Akata wrote, Mommy, God has healed me from cataract and glaucoma. Praise the Lord. And we have Oyi Damola who wrote, I have height problem glaucoma. The pressure of my eyes was 50%, and now it is 10%. Praise be to God. God is doing wonders, wonders all over. As we return you now to the moderating overseer. Okay, strength. Let's have the testimony now. Praise the Lord. My name is Samuel Oshashono, a medical doctor. Which means here I have Mrs. Marcelina Abu. She has a testimony to share of what God did for her today at this crusade. Please listen to her. Praise my Lord Jesus. I have testimony to say. This is my leg. At a junction, who year ago, I fall down for the year. Six, three years. I day in pain. I don't spend a lot of money because of this my leg. Because of my leg, you know to go. Yesterday night, I did dream. I mean, say I start, I get up for that dream. I begin to walk by myself. I say, God. You don't already perfect your work in my life. You perfect your work in my life. They invite me today. Today, today be 26. They invite me. Now I say this program, I must come to this program. As I get that dream yesterday, I know God already perfect your work in my life. That is why I come here today. I cannot walk by myself. Without crutches, I cannot move. Without crutches, I cannot do anything. I feel for back there to walk to reach this side. I know God already perfectly working in my life. Hallelujah. For three years. 
Put your hands together. Clap to the glory of God. Please. It's only the Lord who can do that. Just move, move. Let people see you, what the Lord has done for you. That is it. That is it. That's the miracle. The Lord has blessed you. What you saw, God has brought it to pass today. Through the ministration of his servant. Wonders of God. Go and enjoy your miracle. Go and enjoy your miracle. God bless you. Orchestra, quickly. Okay, just give us two before we, just two, just two. Now we'll take you to Plateau State, Nigeria for a great testimony. Plateau, Joss, Nigeria. Now broadcasting live. Brethren, my name is Ezekiel Zidi Choji. I am from Dental District.
Okay, just give us two before we, just two, just two. Now we'll take you to Plateau State, Nigeria for a great testimony. Plateau, Joss, Nigeria. Now broadcasting live. Brethren, my name is Ezekiel D.J. Choji. I am from Dental District, just south local government, Plateau State. In uh, February, the first rain that fell in the night, I woke up in the morning, I was trying to go out uh, of the house. Unknown to me that there was rain, that, that, that rain fell on the tires in the front of my house. So, as I step out of my house, my right, my left foot just slipped off, and the right one went back, and I landed on, on that foot, and I had a crack. Bah! That was the end. I couldn't start on again. They had to pick me from that place into the, the house. And since then, I was in deep cold in, in serious pain. Went to the hospital. I was x-rayed and it, sh it shows that my one of the bones on my leg is broken. So they applied POP. But the pain was intense. It was terrible. I've never had this pain like this before. So I've been there since that February to June. The, GS, the, the GSK, GCK of uh, June, the last day of that GCA in June. The GS, GS made mention of my case. And he said, at the last amen, we should check up. So at the last amen, he said, amen. And instantly, that pulsating pain in my leg disappeared. I was not too sure. I brought down my leg from the bed. I tried to test the, the leg. I marched the ground. It was not pain, paining me again. I walked out from the bedroom to the living room. There was no pain. I walked outside, leaving the crutches behind. There was no pain. Then we had to remove the plaster with the POP from the leg, and it was okay. Though the swelling was there, and uh, since then I started walking with the leg. Brethren, I am healed. You can see the leg is swollen. I came to return all the glory of what God did for me in my life. My names are Edwin Wabata. I'm from Delta State, Worry. I came to return all the glory of what God did for me, what he has done in my life during the crusade. Since five years back, I was feeling a very terrible pain on my waist region, thinking that one day it may just uh, subside. But as of last year, the thing became so severe that I could not manage it again. I could not walk. I could not sit down. I could not stand for a very long time. I could not carry heavy something. So I was kind of telling my wife that, look at what is going on. She said, okay, let's go and see the pharmacist. We went and the pharmacist carried out some tests and said it's an infection. And we went and treated the infection. On the last day after treating the infection, the pains became so severe. To the extent I could not stand very well. And it was so tough on me that the pains could not allow me to do any strong work. And I went back to the pharmacist and said, ah, this thing is becoming worse. And he said, I should go to the doctor, I should go to the hospital. And we went to the hospital, and they asked me to go for estuary. I went for estuary, 
this was the S3 result and find out that there's a bone in my spine. Looks like as if one bone is missing and one the upper side of the spine is like he's sitting on the lower side, bone to bone. And I, I was asking the doctor, then what do I do? He said, there's no treatment and there's no way. Nothing they can do except they will put me on therapy. And she wrote the paper for me to go for therapy, that that is how they will be managing it, but there's no cure for it.